From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Rory Johnston with your updated headlines. The search is still on for a hermitage man after his wife's murder. Police say they want to question Ronald Dickens. His wife, Shantan Clary, was found dead inside the couple's apartment on Andrew Jackson Way over the weekend. Her friends tell us the two were in the process of getting a divorce. Investigators say Dickens might be driving his wife's black 2017 Toyota Camry. If you see him, call police. A new lawsuit accuses the city of Clarksville of dumping more than 82 million gallons of sewage into the Cumberland River. The suit was filed by Tennessee Riverkeeper. That's a nonprofit that fights to keep waterways clean. They say the city has had nearly 500 total overflow violations since November of 2014. Tennessee Riverkeeper has also threatened to sue Metro Water in Nashville over similar issues, but says they're holding off on that lawsuit for now. Sports fans all over the world mourn the loss of Kobe Bryant today, including right here in Nashville. Several digital billboards are lit up around town honoring the superstar's legacy. Bryant, along with his daughter and seven others, were killed in a helicopter crash near Los Angeles yesterday. Well, rock and roll fans, listen up. ZZ Top will be in Music City this summer for a concert at Ascend Amphitheater. The show is scheduled for June 28th. Tickets go on sale this Friday. We have a link to them posted right now on our website. Now here's Henry with a look at your work week forecast. I'll tell you, Roy, as we go through this evening, it's going to be rather comfortable. Temperatures upper 40s, low 30s. Through the overnight, a mostly clear sky expected, but calm wind, that quiet condition. This looks like it would be a partly to mostly cloudy start. It's not. It's actually going to be some fog developing across the Mid-South. Visibility will likely get down to a mile or less for many locations for the third shift workers and taking you into the morning rush. Hey, here's a look at the forecast going through the next seven days, though. We'll see a pleasant day on Tuesday. Rain chances back Wednesday, then again Friday into Saturday. Saturday, also the start of February.